This is the seventh stop on the yellow trail as the crow flies. You are now at Lock 14W on the Huddersfield Canal. An Act of Parliament in 1974 allowed the Huddersfield Canal to be built a lot up. There we go. <laughs> Second time, the volume is perfect. An Act of Parliament in 1974 allowed the Huddersfield Canal to be built between Huddersfield and Ashton on the line. Some parts of it were open in 1796, but it was not fully navigable until the Stanich Tunnel opened in 1811. Its 15 year construction period represents quite a staggering feat of engineering and human endeavour and is famous for two brilliant achievements. Firstly, along its 20 mile route, there are 74 canal lots and the middle section at 645 feet above sea level is the highest stretch of canal in Britain. Secondly, further up the canal between the towns of Diggle and Marsden, the waterway travels through the magnificent Stanage Tunnel, which at three miles long is the longest canal tunnel in Britain. Horse-drawn barges transported goods such as flour, salt, bales of wool, raw cotton and finished co cotton map. Horse-drawn barges transported goods such as flour, salt, bales of wood. <laughs> Sorry. Same time, just get the sentences in your head first and then go on your own. Horse drawn barges transported goods such as flour, salt, bales of wool, raw cotton, and finished cotton products. Some families actually worked and lived on their barges, and their children were often absent from school because they were busy opening canal locks and leaving the barge horses. When Mosley Heritage Centre first opened, a special canal boat arrived in Mosley to deliver a pair of speci specially made... I won't do that again. When Mosley Heritage Centre first opened, a special canal boat arrived in Mosley to deliver a pair of specially made size 14 clogs to the guest of honour, Terry Waite. This is the last stop on the Yellow Trail. There are several walks available from this point along the canal or the bridle path depending on where you wish to go. If you would like to return to the Heritage Centre, the simplest direction is to return to Manchester Road and head left back towards the railway station. When you see the Aurora Cafe, you are at Queen Street, Animaeus and the Heritage Centre are just down on the right. Mm -hmm.